Welcome to the On-Call Resource Toolkit. We are glad you could join us. This video will be about the food pyramid. At the end of the lesson, you will have learned about the food pyramid. The food pyramid is a pyramid-shaped graph divided into six groups, which, lower down, are more necessary to carry out a healthy diet, and as we move up the pyramid, the food represented are less and less necessary for a healthy diet. It was first introduced in 1974 by Swedish scientists, nutritionists and experts. It has had different rebrands over the years, but it is still widely known as the food pyramid. In the bottom, largest step, we can find fruits and vegetables. These provide us with fibre, vitamins and minerals necessary for the metabolism to work. This section is recommended to eat 5 to 7 servings a day. What is your favourite fruit? Did you know that carrots used to be purple in colour? In the next step, we find foods that are high in carbohydrates. In this group, we can include products such as rice, bread and corn. These are recommended by experts to eat 3 to 5 servings per day. However, for males aged 19 to 50, it is generally accepted that 7 servings per day are a good thing. Remember that brown carbs are better for you than white carbs as they are easier for the body to break down and process. In the next step, we find the dairy products and derivatives of this. Different types of dairy range from milk to cheese to yogurts. All of dairy starts off as life in animal milk. Many people are intolerant to dairy, but for the most of us it is no problem. Dairy gives us vitamins, phosphorus and calcium that are essential for the maintenance and strengthening of bones and muscles. It is recommended two or three pieces a day, however it is recommended that five servings be taken by five to eighteen year olds. In the next section, we find products such as meat, eggs and fish. These foods are very high in protein and fats. They contain essential amino acids for the formation of proteins to strengthen the immune system. It is recommended to consume two pieces a day. The second last level of the pyramid, we find fat, spreads and oils, which we can ingest as long as it is moderate. Many of these products, such as olive oil and butter, actually contain healthy fats. These are fats that the body needs. In the last and smallest slice of the pyramid is the bold part. This is where you would find all your favourite treats and sweets that are high in bad sugars. We really should have these sparingly, but if you're like us, you probably eat more than you should. We all know that the real pyramids are in Egypt, in a desert. But the food pyramid actually floats in a big glass of water. Why do you think that is? It is because water is the most important part of any diet. We should aim to drink at least 8 cups of water a day. Congratulations! This lesson about the food pyramid is over. I hope you understand it a bit more than you did before. For more lessons, please log on to the project website on www.oncall.eu.